Happy Father's Day and welcome to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest Bitcoin technical analysis. We'll also be discussing Donald Trump vows to end Joe Biden's war on crypto, as well as Deutsche Telekom announces Bitcoin mining plans at BTC Prague, which is the largest Bitcoin event over in Europe. We're also going to be discussing Bloomberg expert forecast the launch of the Ethereum ETF in the United States for July 2nd. Two weeks out, we'll also be discussing Rich Dad is frustrated by lame excuses to avoid buying Bitcoin and foresee significant price rise of $350,000 by this August. We'll also be discussing the latest from the Giga Chad, Michael Saylor, who also recently gave a presentation at Bitcoin Prague, and he says, Bitcoin will hit $8 million. In fact, he even goes as far to say Bitcoin could hit $70 million per coin. I'll be breaking out all of these insights and how we would arrived at these particular numbers. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market, all this, plus so much more in today's show. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Daddy bought you a Bitcoin future. It's appreciate all the great father's time. Yep, it's that day, it's Father's Day. Whoop, whoop, daddy, love, shout out, let's go. To the dads out there with precious little princesses. Cinderella slipper fits just right, and you're the real hero, superhero. You're the star in her loving, bright, beautiful eyes. Whoop, whoop, daddy love. Yep, yep, need a meaningful love. Happy Father's Day. I just have to sing to Lava Daddy Man. Mm -mm, to the Bitcoin king of our crypto news crew. Happy Father's Day to you, JV. Shout out to the other superstar fathers in our family. Props to all the rock star dads in our CNA Bitcoin fam B -b Bitcoin family daddies You are Bitcoin dads Super dads, there's no one a lot like you Shout out to dads with cutie little men, cutie guys Mighty little princess Look, look, daddy in love You're the star and it's looking up to you Innocent eyes Look, look, daddy in love Bitcoin dads, you're the crypto knights Leading the way, teaching them about love and what is right With every step you are their map, you light their way Guiding them with love and a path Whoop whoop daddy love Shout out to the dads who made their children Little bitcoin princess and princesses Good parenting, way to go Dad time, hero time A good dad is everything to them Thank you for being one of them You are the glue, nothing stopping you from protecting them La la daddy man, mm -mm. daddy love, mm -mm. good stuff Ooh, uh, mm. Happy Father's Day to the dads doing the work Real men raising their kids Manly men loving their kids Doing whatever they have to do And always sacrificing, gentle and loving you guys, it's happy Father's Day to you Manly, loving, sexy you Whoop, whoop, daddy love So here's to you on this special day Bitcoin daddy, this level G daddy's Doing what you have to do For your sweet little babies You are their leader, their favorite man Whoop, whoop, daddy love They are your inspiration And your biggest fan Fathers, raw rockin' fathers Real men, good men to all of you, I say, happy, 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 happy Father's Day. Whoop, daddy, love, happy, whoop, whoop, daddy, love, happy Father's Day. Whoop, whoop, daddy, love, happy Father's Day. Yeah, let's freaking go. First and foremost, happy Father's Day. Massive shout out to Chandy for putting that together last minute. If you're new to the stream, very important to smash the likes and also subscribe to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Also hit the bell notification, turn on all notifications, and please repost this over on X. It's greatly appreciated. Today is pod episode number 1672. I'm your host, JV. It's June 16th, 2024. Happy Father's Day to all my Bitcoin fam out there. But anyways, let's kick it off with our market watch as we do 
each and every day. As you can see on your screen, we got Bitcoin up pumping back in the green, trading above 66,800 according to Coin360. We also have uh, Ether in the green, uh, Solana and Cardano pumping and in the green. And checking out CoinMarketCap.com, the current crypto market cap is currently sitting at 2.43. Uh, trillion dollars, almost two and a half trillion. And uh, the Bitcoin market cap is sitting at just above 1.3 trillion. So we finally recaptured 1.3. And checking out the top 100 crypto gainers for the past 24 hours, we got Brett up 13%, Whiff up 9% excuse me and we also have uh jasmine up nine percent below that pendle maker jupiter celestia and Lido dow which particular alts are you most bullish on for this particular bull holla at your boys and uh checking out the crypto bubbles to get a visual perspective on the daily the majority of the market is still in the green some impressive gainers overall zooming out on the monthly for a broader perspective unfortunately safe to say 80 percent of the market bleeding and in the red now, uh, checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, one of my favorite indicators. Shows we're currently rated a uh, 71 in uh, Greed. Yesterday, 74. Last week, a 75. And last month, a 74. So there you have it. Crypto La Familia. Where do you feel the Bitcoin price action will likely take us for this beautiful month of June? Holla, holla, holla. Let's dive into our Bitcoin technical analysis. Uh, check out the charts where the price action is likely to take us next. Headline reads, Bitcoin bounces at one month lows. Watch these particular price levels. That's right. Bitcoin surprised on June 14th by delivering another 3.5% dip, taking Bitcoin to a low of 64,950 over on Bitstamp and building on existing weekly. The move took the current week-to-date losses to more than 6.7% as the price action to its lowest level since mid-May. And here you're looking at the trading view one day Bitcoin chart. Uh, Bitcoin just lost technical support of the 50-day moving average, according to material indicators. And uh, if the bulls lose support at 65, be prepared for 60 or lower. But lo and behold, we held at 65 and had a nice little bouncy bounce. We're almost back at 67. So we'll see. Now, while the 60 65,000 managed to hold. Others are looking for possible areas to call a near-term Bitcoin price floor, while the new all-time highs look increasingly out of reach. That's right. These levels, also known as the realized price, refer to the aggregate buy-in price for investors holding coins for various lengths of time. Of particular interest are the short-term holders or hodlers, entities holding a given unit of Bitcoin for up to 155 days, which represent the more speculative end of the hodler spectrum. And as reported, their cost basis has functioned as bull market support almost flawlessly since the start of 2023. Crypto Quant currently shows the short-term hodler realized price. The be 62 Two. Another cohort, those holding or hodling for between three to six months, have a realized price of 55.5, while Bitcoin's diamond hands, where my diamond hands and laser eyes at, make some noise. The long term hodlers have their cost basis at 24.3. That's right. Uh, quoting analyst Adler, how long the correction might last will be determined by the market, but in the previous cycle, similar situations lasted from 65 to 300. And 71 days. That's right. That's right. Now, also, um, there's Peter Brandt who has been calling for a bottom of 48,000, but I personally think that's a very unlikely scenario. I'd maybe give it a 10% probability, but I personally feel 60 will hold strong. But he's ultimately saying if we break 60, we're likely to see 48. So let me know your thoughts uh, when it comes uh, to that, quoting him here. Quoted as liquidity around 70,000 currently. So there is room for forcing an illiquid squeeze in which I'd be watching for passive supply selling into 68.69. Some fresh bid liquidity quoted around 63.62 with the bulk of the demand lost uh, at around 60 to 65. Now also coin glass shows a line of liquidity sitting at 64.9 just beneath the intraday lows increasing in size at this current time. So there there you have it, family. Let me know if you guys are bullish for this month of uh, June. Do you think we recapture price discovery currently sitting at like, uh, where are we at? 73.8, which we achieved back in mid-March. Please do let me know. So here we go. Our next story of the day, we're going to be discussing uh, Trump and his commitment to Bitcoin. And he also even uh, came out and said that he vows to end Joe Biden's war on crypto. And if you've been living under a rock, then um, yeah, you wouldn't realize there's a war on crypto right now. But clearly there is with the SEC and uh, Liz Warren and Gary Gensler and all those clowns. So yeah, here we go. Former US President Trump promised to end Biden's war on crypto 
If elected, quoting him right here, I will end Joe Biden's war on crypto and we will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in America. We're going to keep it right here. And a lot of it is going to be done right here in Florida, Trump said during a special address uh, in West Palm Beach, Florida. The event was held on June 14th, the day he turned 78 years old. So happy birthday, Trump. It is not the first time Trump criticized Biden for his harsh stance on crypto. On May 26th, he took aim at Biden while arguing that the U.S. must not settle for anything but top place in the crypto industry, quoting him again, crooked Joe Biden. On the other hand, the worst president in the history of our country, facts, wants it to die a slow and painful death. You know how I feel about enemies of Bitcoin families. You already know. That will never happen with me, he wrote in a May 25th post on True Social, a social media platform owned by Trump Media and the technology group. Trump will face Biden in the 2024 presidential race with the election day scheduled for November 5th. Now, meanwhile, his promise to make Florida a central hub for crypto comes after Florida was named the best state for crypto taxes in the U.S., according to data from coin ledger well clearly outside of puerto rico but hey i digress in the mainland florida is pretty lit great place to be they got a you know governor uh, desantis who stands strong with being against you know cbdc's and all of the evils of the world as well so shout out uh, desantis now coin ledger's data revealed that florida was the best state for crypto taxes due to its lack of state income tax and crypto friendly regulatory policies including a pilot program allowing business to pay state fees in crypto. New York was named the worst state. I would definitely agree with that. New York has the worst regulations when it comes to just investments in cryptocurrency in general. And on June 12th, Trump expressed his support for the Bitcoin mining industry, saying he wants all remaining Bitcoin to be mined in the United States. Can you say global hash wars? Because that's precisely where we're witnessing countries that don't embrace Bitcoin and choose not to, you know, uh, fully what's the term, uh, adopt it, are going to be left behind. And I think he recognizes that, or at least he recognizes he needs these 50 million votes from the crypto folk. He even pledged to pardon uh, Ross Albrick, who's been serving thus far, I think, 11 years in prison, the founder of the Silk Road, the first marketplace that started trading Bitcoin. And I think he got two life sentences. And Trump straight up said when he was asked, would you pardon him? He says, I'll do it on day one of the job. So there you go. But anyways, fam, next story of the day. Uh, the next headline reads, uh, Deutsche Telekom announces Bitcoin mining plans at Bitcoin Prague. Some people told me this was the biggest announcement at this recent event, which is the biggest Bitcoin conference over in uh, Europe. And we're going to be discussing Mikey Saylor's predictions and what he shared on stage as well. But right now we're going to be discussing here. T-Mobile Deutsche Telekom announced it intends to start mining Bitcoin, expanding upon its ongoing crypto-based activities. The telecommunications firm has been operating a Bitcoin node since 2023 and is currently running Bitcoin Lightning Network nodes. And and speaking of Bitcoin Prague, Dirk Roeder, head of Web3 Infrastructure and Solutions over at Deutsche Telekom, shared the following. Since 2023, we are running a Bitcoin node and we are running Bitcoin Lightning nodes as well. I like to let you in on a little secret. We will engage in digital monetary photosynthesis soon. Whatever that means, digital monetary photosynthesis. Interesting. But anyways, uh, also the former Cointelegraph contributor asked Reuter if he would elaborate on the meaning of digital monetary photosynthesis. Exactly what I would think. Uh, we will. Okay, uh, break it down. Uh, the firm has been actively involved in Web3 as a Polygon validator since June of 2023, establishing its position to leverage its extensive infrastructure and secure new revenue streams. And as one of 100 validators, uh, Deutsche Telekom provided staking and validation services on Polygon for over a year and helped support the platform's proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. In February, Fetch AI, a decentralized AI platform, partnered with Deutsche Telekom to establish Enterprise AI. As a validator on the Fetch AI blockchain, the telecommunications firm helps to support Fetch AI's AI-driven autonomous agents. These autonomous agents provide service in healthcare, automated supply chain management, and digital identities by managing resources, conducting transactions, and analyzing traffic flows. So there you go. Yo, what are your thoughts there, family? Let me know. And how many of you, if any, got to attend Bitcoin Prague or watch online as it was streamed or watch any of the presentations, please do let me know. Let's dive into our next story. 
of the day, eh? Uh, this is actually regarding uh, the ETF for Ethereum. Bloomberg expert forecast the launch of Ethereum ETF in the United States for July 2nd, yo. That's right. The Bloomberg ETF expert says the spot market ETH ETFs can be expected in the United States by as early as July. In a new thread, senior ETF analyst Balchuna says that ETH-based ETFs may be approved by July 2nd after it was found out the US SEC responded to the S-1 filings by several marquee financial firms. And according to Balchuna, the regulatory agency sending back the forms for modifications implies that approval is right around the corner. Quoting them here, we are moving up our over under date for the launch of the spot Ether ETF to July 2nd. Hearing the staff sent issuers comments on the S1 on Friday, they are pretty light, nothing major, asking for them back in a week. A decent chance they work to declare them effective the next week and get it off their plate before the holiday weekend, referring to July 4th, uh, Independence Day. Anything is possible, but this is our best guess. As of now, let me know if you agree or disagree with the uh, expert. The SEC approved the 19B4 filings from the firms earlier in the year, which included bids from BlackRock, Fidelity, Van Eck, Grayscale, Bitwise, Arc, Franklin, Templeton, as well as Invesco, Galaxy. Balchunas notes that his original date for the approval of the ETH ETS was initially July 4th, quoting him here. Our previous over-under was July 4th, so this isn't a major shift, but number one, we started to feel like we would take longer, so this is kind of good news. And number two, we basically decide to over-under on where our most torn 50-50 on where to bet, and July 2nd is that date right now. And back in May, we had the former SEC chair, Jay Clayton, said that the regulatory body's approval for the firm's 19B4 filings meant the approval of ETH ETFs is inevitable. And even Mr. Gensler, the current chairman of the SEC, has come out and said something that he believes it will be approved or officially launched by this summer, which really doesn't say much, but we're anticipating the approval next month. We discussed the Ethereum ETF may get the green light on July 2nd. Now let's discuss the latest from Rich Dad. Robert Kiyosaki makes uh, some very bullish predictions quite often. He's even calling for 350000 this year in 2024. So let's break this down and then we'll dive into the latest from the Giga Chad, Mr. Michael Saylor, uh, and his predictions from BTC Prague, which he recently shared at the conference. So yeah, uh, Robert Kiyosaki frustrated by lame excuses to avoid buying Bitcoin and foresees a significant price rise. Amen to that. I'm going to read you the tweet he shared on Friday. I become frustrated encouraging people to buy Bitcoin. Can anyone relate? <laughs> I receive so many lame excuses. The most common excuse, Bitcoin is so expensive and it's high, yet not as high as it's going to go. Exactly. Uh, Kiyosaki has long been advising people to buy the biddies alongside gold and silver, viewing gold and silver as God's money and Bitcoin as the people's money. Amen. Bitcoin is for the people. I simply repeat my rich dad's lesson on investing. Your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. That's right. You can't lose what you don't sell, family. Uh, quoting him here, we all wish we had bought Bitcoin when it was 10 bucks, but those days, long gone. Don't be a loser. Buy a little. What you can afford and keep buying. Amen. And I agree with that. Everyone's going to argue, I wish I would have just bought Bitcoin at 10 bucks. But the reality is, if you bought it at 10 bucks, you probably would have sold at 100. Am I right or am I right? Just saying, just be blessed and grateful that you got in Bitcoin now, sub 70,000, because there's going to be a time where Bitcoin is 100,000, eventually hits a million, and you're going to be like, good Lord, if only I would have stacked sats when Bitcoin was less than 100,000 when I was watching JV on the stream. Just saying, don't be one of those guys. Uh, but anyways, this week, Kiyosaki stated that Bitcoin is the easiest way to become a millionaire. I agree with that. Let me know your thoughts, because here's all you got to do. Buy a Bitcoin, become a whole coiner, do whatever you got to do to become a whole coiner, and hodl. How many years will it take? We don't know, but time will tell. You know what I mean? Simple as that. It's the easiest way. All it requires is patience and a little discipline. And if you can do that, you too one day can be a millionaire. Anyways, quoting him here, I save Bitcoin because Bitcoin does the work for me. The renowned author recently predicted that Bitcoin would reach 350000 per bitty in August. It's a prediction. It's speculation. It's an opinion, but it's not a lie. It's a sucker's bait, but it is not a lie because any prediction about the future is not a lie. I want $350,000 Bitcoin to be a fact, and I want it to be true, but it is only a prediction. 
he explained. And in May, he advised investors to buy Bitcoin before the price explodes. He believes the U.S. economy is in a depression and that a severe market crash has begun. Well, very well said uh, by Rich Dad. I agree with a lot of that sentiment. I think 350 may be a little over the top for this August, but anything is possible, and he's right. It's not a lie. It's a prediction. So, so be it. God bless him. I hope his prediction comes into fruition. But let me know your thoughts uh, regarding Kiyosaki. Um, I'm a fan. I've been a fan of Rich Dad for a very long time because as a young entrepreneur, I started reading books like Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, which led me to like uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, Why We Want You to Be Rich, and other books. And uh, they've greatly impacted my understanding of being an entrepreneur. So I have a lot of respect for him. And he's been calling for the crash of the dollar for a very long time, just like Max Kaiser. So I also respect them in that standard as well. You know what I mean? Now for our feature story of the day, the Giga Chad Mikey Saylor recently gave a presentation at Bitcoin Prague, the largest Bitcoin conference in Europe and made some very uh, bullish predictions. I want to share them with you. Uh, in fact, this particular headline reads, Bitcoin proponent Michael Saylor forecast potential 8 million Bitcoin price tag. That's right. While speaking at the event, Saylor predicted Bitcoin can reach up to 8 million a coin. In fact, even went as high as 70 million. I'm going to be breaking down the math here shortly. Stay tuned. And many investors would miss out on the price surge. Notably, these comments come and miss MicroStrategy's recent disclosure that it wants to increase its Bitcoin holdings, which we know no, they just raised another 700 million convertible note. They do their Bitcoin alchemy, and he's about to make a 700 million dollar purchase. So keep stacking them stats. I believe MicroStrategy already has 214,000 plus Bitcoin on the balance sheet. So yeah, while speaking at the Prague event for Bitcoin, Saylor recounted his journey with Bitcoin in the early days. And interestingly, Saylor noted he was also indecisive when considering investing in Bitcoin for the first time. Back in 2013, Saylor looked at Bitcoin and dismissed it, thinking it would only find its way into online gambling, womp womp. As a result, he lost the opportunity to buy the Bitcoin when it traded at 892 bucks, only finally deciding to purchase when Bitcoin reached 9,500. That's ultimately a factor of 10 or 11X, right? I got the price I deserved, Saylor noted, amen. However, Saylor has been a fervent supporter for Bitcoin ever since he finally bought in back in 2020, even calling it digital gold. He also argued in the past that Bitcoin is the only asset investors can truly own as it is free from any governing authority aka decentralized. Amen to that. And as Saylor explains, despite Bitcoin's growth over the past few years, there are still a lot of investors who are skeptical about buying in. Yep. Saylor noted that even if Bitcoin reaches 950000 per coin, some might still call it overbought and expect a drop to 700000 only to potentially miss out when the price finally surges to $8 million per coin. Do you hear that, family? Now, let me know how that would change your life if, hypothetically speaking, Bitcoin hit 8 million tomorrow, holla in the chat. He says, everyone gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve, 100%. And while 8 million per bitty may seem far-fetched, Saylor and other analysts believe in the power of exponential growth. With Bitcoin now trading above 66,000, an 8 million price tag would mean a 12,000% price increase from the current price level. For Bitcoin to reach that level, its market cap would need to increase over 150 times from today's value to around 168 trillion Bitcoin market cap. And for this to happen, Bitcoin would need to gain mainstream mainstream adoption and interest in institutional investors, which is starting to increase, which we have been witnessing since the green light from the uh, spot Bitcoin e-test, which officially launched on January 11th. In fact, they now have over a million Bitcoin acquired through the Bitcoin ETF products, which means 5% of the Bitcoin circulating supply. So if adoption truly goes mainstream, 8 million per bitty may not be outside of the realm, a possibility in the coming decades. Heck, it can happen in the coming years. Just saying. MicroStrategy, Sailor's intelligence company, is one of the few companies leading the charge for the mainstream Bitcoin adoption. That's right. And according to the disclosure, as I pointed out earlier, they're now looking to sell 700 million worth of its convertible notes with the net proceeds going into buying the most scarcest, greatest store value to ever exist. The biddy. In fact, now I want to read you some of the highlights as per Luke Broyles, which shared in this excellent Michael Saylor thread. Here are 21 rules he gave instructing how to hodl the volatile next 1,000x in Bitcoin price. 1,000x would ultimately take us to roughly 70 million per coin, just FYI. So enjoy this. Those who understand, buy Bitcoin. Those who don't criticize Bitcoin. The people who can't see the paradigm shift, mock the transition, aka Peter Schiff. The people with vision being to vote with their feet, 
for the new system. Uh, number two, he says, everyone is against Bitcoin before they are for it. Even Saylor explicitly referenced his post, which we discussed in 2013, when he claimed it would likely follow the route of online gambling. Back then, Bitcoin was less than $900. Mind boggling, right? Now, number three, you'll never be done learning about Bitcoin. That's right. Don't matter, don't matter how many tens of thousands of hours you put into this, you're always going to learn more. No matter how smart you are, you can never outsmart hundreds of millions of companies, tens of billions of humans, or dozens of trillions of AI bots. You will never fully understand the future, which Bitcoin is priced in. And number four, Bitcoin is powered by chaos. Michael referenced uh, World War II and communism in Prague and Europe. Would you rather own a house, company, or gold in a nation fighting the war? Or would you rather own the Swiss bank that holds everyone's gold? Buy Bitcoin because entropy is guaranteed. Number five, Bitcoin is the only game in the casino that we can all win. Every game in the casino of aspects protected of political currency is rigged against you. Facts. In a long enough timeline, you are going to win if you keep playing the Bitcoin game. All other games eventually fail. Well said. Number six, Bitcoin won't protect you if you don't Wear the armor. Get off zero and take a 1% allocation. However, you'll look back and wonder why you allowed 99% of your body to be burnt. The more you understand the fire, the closer to 100% of your body you cover and armor. Preach. Number seven, Bitcoin is the one thing in the universe that you can truly own. All assets in the ancient world were protected by a governing authority over you and property rights granted by collective of humans. Until Bitcoin, now your cryptographic keys in your head are your wealth. 100%. Also, number nine, or number number eight, everyone gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. Michael reflected on how he dismissed Bitcoin at less than $900 to only deserve buying it at $9,500. He then said that Bitcoin is $950,000. People will try to wait for it to crash to $700,000, and Bitcoin will go to $8 million. Number nine, only buy Bitcoin with the money you can't afford to lose. Reject the system that forces you to take risks to preserve your energy and redirect towards the system that rewards you're saving. Ignoring Bitcoin today is the decision to starve yourself tomorrow. Number 10, tickets to escape the matrix are priced in Bitcoin. Sailor described how the GDP, CPI, and infinite QE in the matrix in which we live and the price of the world from within. The escape valve from the arbitrary collection of data points to fit the narrative is the outlier. Bitcoin. Number 11, my favorite number 11. Bitcoin insight is restricted to those who need to know. Amen. She's, I don't know what I just clicked on there. Sailor described to meet at dinner how without Bitcoin microstrategy would have failed. He was going to lose billions, but instead made billions. Michael's Bitcoin increased by 54 million during the 40 minute talk alone during this speech. Imagine that his net worth goes up $50 million during his speech. By the time he's done, it only takes 40 minutes to do so. Kind of mind boggling, but that's the reality with the Bitcoin. Number 12, all of your models will be destroyed. Sailor on stage predicted he believes 24% CAGR for Bitcoin in the next 10 years. And he says it's extremely conservative. That would be a 600,000 Bitcoin by 2034. When Godzilla comes to the playground, your model of who wins the game are irrelevant. It's going up forever, Laura. Number 13, to cure to economic ill is the orange pill. Economics have been a pseudoscience for centuries, and the cure to ancient technology is a new innovative paradigm, upgrading the world to future technology. All of the flawed worldviews on money are from flawed money, aka fiat monopoly money. Number 14, B for Bitcoin, not against fiat. Don't use aggression or violence against a dying system. Instead, be cheerful and constructive into building the parallel parallel system. Don't give the critics the leverage to call you mean, arrogant, or disrespectful. Number 15, Bitcoin is for everybody. Uh, Sailor claims the need for digital capital, aka Bitcoin, has the potential to be half of everything in the future world we are yet to imagine. He said this will drive the price up by 1,000x, which is $70 million per Bitcoin in today's dollars. Let that sink in, fam. Number 16, learn to think in Bitcoin. To conceptualize future tech in terms of ancient technology is an oxymoron. The only way to envision a coming paradigm is to view it through the stage at which the city will be built upon. Number 17, you don't change Bitcoin, it changes you. You don't have the capacity or the authority to dictate to 8 billion people today how to change their life to benefit you. Sailor then mentioned the 80 billion people yet to be will be dwarfed by the current world, a 10x in human beings. Number 18, laser eyes protect you from endless lies. That kind of rhymes pretty well. Michael emphasized you don't take your laser eyes off at 100,000 or a million per bitty. He predicted Bitcoin's going from a trillion to 100 trillion to 300 trillion to 500 trillion, which is a $24 million Bitcoin laser focus family. 
Uh, also, number 19, respect Bitcoin or it will make a clown of you. Amen. There is no need to mock those who mock Bitcoin because those people mock themselves. Well said. The uh, To project absurdity onto the truth machine is to betray your future self and destroy your own reputation. Don't be a clown. Mr. Peter Schiff. Number 20, do not sell your biddies. Damn right. You do not put out the fire that keeps your family warm in a freezing winter. You do not sabotage your life raft in an ocean. Life is precious, and you do not push your economic savings off of a cliff. Diversification is inferior intellect. And number 21, last but not least, spread Bitcoin with love. Be kind. And when the disrespectful critics realize you had their best interest at heart, they will come around and contribute to the network in time. The work put into Bitcoin will 100x and the price will 1,000x as we create 10,000x the fiat. Amen to that family. Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There is, there is no second best. I'm not saying I'm number one. Uh, I'm sorry, I lied. I'm number one, two, three, four, and five. So there you have it. You just heard the 8 million price prediction as high as 70 million price prediction, ultimately meaning Sailor firmly believes Bitcoin will 1,000x from the current price action. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with the Giga Chad.